All right, first and foremost, I'll give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity by Shimra Kakwadash. In this video, I would like to go into some of the accounts in the history of Israel on how Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had delivered them in times of trouble and how we we need to go back and always read the mighty works that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai wrought for those that trusted in him okay and I'm gonna start in the book of Job 8 and 8 and it says, for I inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, right? I ask you, I pray thee of the former age, okay? The former age, you know? Let's look up that former age real quick. Dewar. Strong's H, 1755. Dewar. Door. The former period. The, and former the form just below that. Door. Door. Right. The former period. The former generation. The former habitation. Period of time. Generation. Those living during a period of time. Right. Right. You know. Ask of the of those who lived in the in the former period of time and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Right. Prepare. Prepare yourself for the search of your fathers, you know. Because ultimately you're going to find in the scriptures that the Heavenly Father always delivered the Israelites from, from trouble and temptations. Okay. It says, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. It says, for we are but of yesterday. Right. We, us brothers, we are but of yesterday. And, and... You know, there's a saying in the world, hey, when, when you, you know, before you know it in the blink of an eye, you, you know, you're going to be old. You know, they say that and we because it's true for we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon earth are a shadow. Right. And there's a lot of people. OK, a lot of Israelites, I should say, blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. They never they never they die without finding out who they really are, you know. Our days upon earth are a shadow, says, shall not they teach thee and tell thee and utter words out of their heart? Right. The former period of time, the form, those that lived, okay, in, in, in the ancient world, the Israelites, they'll teach thee and they'll utter words out of their heart, out of their mind, wisdom, okay, on, on what to do in certain situations, okay. Let's go to De Deuteronomy 32 and 7. It says, It says, Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will shew thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. Right, the elders. Okay, and we have elders today through the Spirit. You know, we call them elders. It says, And they will tell thee, and they have told in us. They have let us know, all right, the secrets and the mysteries that are written in the scriptures. Okay. We are we are now inquiring of the former age of the former time, okay, of our forefathers, okay, of the things that they went through. The you know, this is Psalms forty four and one. This says to the chief musician for the sons of Korah, Mashiel. It says we have heard with our ears, O power, our fathers have told us. What work thou didst in their days in the times of old, right? The prophets, okay? Our forefathers have told us what work thou didst in their days in the times of old. And that's what we need to inquire about, you know? That's what we need to ask about, the the, the work that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai did in, in the times of old, okay? This is Second Ezra's 1. And 35 it says it says your houses will I give to a people that shall come which not having heard of me yet shall believe me to whom I have shewed no signs yet they shall do that I have commanded them you see 
and we are that people whom the Lord have have showed no signs. Right. We, we really haven't seen no nothing like the uh, the prophets in the ancient world. Right now we're in a time of total faith. And that's why we need to look into the scriptures and, and into the into into the former age. OK. And see all the works that the Lord did to those who trusted in him. OK. It says, yet shall they do that I have commanded them, right? And we're doing the things that the Lord has commanded us. The scriptures say, blessed are those who have not seen but believe, okay? It says they have seen no prophets, right? And through the spirit, we believe that the prophets of, of Great Millstone are, are the prophets reincarnated. But, but we, you know, have we really seen Jeremiah? Have we really seen Isaiah? Have we really seen, you know, um, Malachi or, 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 or uh, you know, Moses or, or King David? No. Okay, it says, yet they shall call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. And that's what we're doing. We're remembering the Lord in, 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 in Yahweh Bashim Yashai in the, in the land of our captivity. And we're acknowledging our sins and we're repenting and coming back. Because we know that, that when, when we do right, the Heavenly Father, he'll fight our battles and he'll be on our side. It says, I take to witness the grace of the people to come. Right. We have grace right now. Okay. We have grace because... You know, for the elect, you know, there's many are going to, you know, there's going to be those who are not going to die. Okay. And, and we have the time to get right. So the Heavenly Father has a, has a good uh, salvation that is coming to those who wait upon him. It says, I take to witness the grace of the people to come. All right. And, the, and we are those people that are that are to come. Whose little ones rejoice in gladness. All right. Our young ones, they believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit, they believe the thing that I say. Right. We have not seen the prophets. That's why we inquire in the in the in the scriptures. OK, the things that they they, they went through, the things that they've done. Yet in spirit, they believe the things that I say. And in spirit, we believe the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. We believe that the men he set up, you know, and, and have um unravel this book to us are the prophets of the lord sent in the reincarnation today to bring the elect back okay without bodily eyes we haven't seen much you know yes we see chariots yes we see you know um you know certain spiritual signs but but not like how they did in the ancient world you know like moses when he part of the red sea you know or or um you know, King David and all the, 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 the mighty battles, you know, or, or even Yahweh Shai, we haven't seen, but we, but we believe, okay, the words of these scriptures, it, 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 you know, and the Lord has revealed it to us, okay, through the Spirit, you know, the true understanding, the, 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 the you know, things that you couldn't learn at church. This is Matt, First Maccabees 2, and this came out, you know, at, at, at camp last week so i wanted to do a little something on it you know lord willing this is edifying it says now therefore my sons be ye zealous for the law right so this is the time okay that we need to be zealous for the law of yahweh bashim yahushai it says and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers right right now is the time to give our lives for the covenant of our fathers man the covenant that the most high made with our fathers and what was that covenant Okay, is that the Most High would be our power if we followed His law, just, laws, uh, statutes, and commandments, you see? And give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. This is called to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. Call to remembrance, brothers, what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name. So remember the acts that our fathers did in their period. In their time, so shall you receive great honor and an everlasting name. So if you follow, you know, the 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 the, 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 the those men of valor, you know, Gideon was called the man of valor, you know, you know, you, you're gonna receive a great a great honor and an everlasting name if you don't bow, okay, to 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 Esau, Edom, okay, and his mark of the beast, you know, great honor and an everlasting name is coming. For, for, for all those who endure was not Abraham found faithful in temptation and was and it was imputed unto him for righteousness Joseph in the time of his distress kept the commandment and was made lord of Egypt Phineas our father in being zealous and fervent attained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood 
It says, Jesus, for fulfilling the word, was made a judge in Israel. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elias, for being zealous and fervent, for the law was taken up into heaven. Ananias, Azarias, and Misael, by believing, were saved out of the flame. Daniel, for his innocence, was delivered from the mouth of lions. And thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. You see that? None that put their trust in him shall be overcome. You see? None that put their trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall be overcome. And consider this throughout the ages and even now. You know, like when you look back in the time of Moses, I was reading it. You know, Moses made water come out of a rock. Okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, the, the, how Bashim Yashai gave them um, manna from heaven, and it wasn't mushrooms, and he gave them um, quail. You know, they wanted flesh to eat, okay, out of nowhere. So how much more now when we come into that time uh, uh, of, uh, you know, when Ju Jerusalem is surrounded, you know, when, these, when the enemy comes in like a flood, how much more the Lord is going to feed us and protect us, you know, when you know, we went into miracles. And, th and that's really what's going to happen. Let's go. To the New Testament. Let's go to Hebrews 11. It says. Let's see. This is Hebrews 11 and 32. And it speaks about what our forefathers did through faith. But I'm going to get a couple of scriptures out of here. It says. And what more. And what shall I more say for the time. Would fail me to tell of Gideon. And of Barak. And of Samson. And of Jephthah. Of David also and Samuel and of the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong. You see that? Quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. See, this is what our forefathers did because they what? They have faith and they trusted in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So us who are living through straight faith nowadays and have not seen much with bodily eyes, yet we believe, okay, the words. We believe what is written. We believe the record that the Most High left, okay, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay? It says, women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection, Right, they didn't, they, hey, there was, you know, others were tortured, all right, there was, there was believers that were tortured, you know, and they didn't want to be delivered, you know, they didn't want to be, they didn't want to go out, you know, the, 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 the weak route, the punk route, if you, you know what I'm saying, they, they, you know, they'd rather die and be zealous for the law, you know, to die manfully, that they might obtain a better resurrection, and that's what's going to happen to those who don't take the mark of the beast, that RFID chip, all right. You know, what does this scripture say? Those that, that, that seek to save their life shall, shall lose it. And those that lose their life shall, shall gain it into life everlasting. All right? That they may obtain a better resurrection. Because what's going to happen is they're going to rise first. Okay? They're going to they're gonna rise first. They're going to be in them chariots first, man. You see? And others had a trial of cruel mockings and scourgings. Yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. Okay? So there was believers that were mocked cruelly. They were whipped. All right, they were put in prison, they were stoned, they were sawn asunder, they were cut in half, they were tempted, were slain with the sword, they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented. You see, this is what the believers went through. How much more us now? See, this thing is not about looking nice, man. It's look, it's about believing. You know what well, the scriptures say: Who shall rise up uh, with me against the workers of iniquity? And that, that's, that's a tough fight, you know, but nonetheless, if you're part of the election, that, that's what you were, you, you know, that's your job, okay? And the Lord's going to help you through it if you trust and you continue to believe in him. It says, of whom the world was not worthy, right? The world is not worthy of such men, all right, like the elect. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and in caves of the earth, right? Because the elect is not of this world. They might seem and look like other people, but they're 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 from above. They are not from beneath.
and all the and these all have obtained a good report through faith right you know everyone speaks of Moses everyone's David's name is, is spoken of okay Barak and Gideon you know the prophets everyone speaks of them even to this day everyone even the Christians know about them not to this extent all right because they're always preaching that they you know that they, they they didn't go through nothing and everything was peaches and cream but that that's just not how it, that's not okay exactly how the story goes it says the most i haven't provided some better thing for us right they did not they did not receive salvation and they asked when were these when when would that time come they were always asking you how about me shy but they did not receive it okay the most i haven't provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect right so basically you know the story if you will the saga of, of of israel is not made perfect you know but through us okay and through the salvation that the elect is going to uh, uh, receive okay because we know there's going to be some martyrs but there's going to be some who are not going to die and and that's more than in the ancient world okay the scriptures don't really speak of of, of a lot of um, Israelites dying of, of old age, you know, yes, there were some, but, but, you know, a lot of, them, a lot of them, a lot of believers were killed for this word. That, that's, that's just the, the truth of the matter, man. The world hates truth. The world hates righteousness. The world hates justice, man. You see, but, 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 but this go around the elect is going to get a mighty salvation, man, a beautiful salvation. Okay. Let's go back. You know, and if you can, and if, and, and, and brothers, you know, I know brothers can receive it, but, you know, we, 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 we very much could be those men in the reincarnation, man, you know. Now, we know not all prophets were written about, but, you know, the, the, you know, the, the, there are some big prophets upon the earth, man. Paul could be on the earth, you know what I mean? Peter, the disciples and whatnot, you know. We don't know exactly what time all these men have come back in, in, the, in the reincarnation, but we know that they could be here. So that's how the story is made perfect because we are our forefathers. This is Sirach 2 and 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and was confounded? Okay. Look at the generations of old and see in the, in, in the scriptures. Read the accounts. And was any confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right. Because the, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is a strong tower and the righteous, they run into it. And you got a lot of Israelites today that don't want to uh, utter the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. They're not standing stiffly for, for, for the name. Okay. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, this is just some scriptures, man, on how we need to look, you know. You know, look look at what was written in 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 the, in, in the former age, and, and inquire, and see. Did anybody who trusted and 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 and, and believed in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and prayed and did what he asked, were 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 they were they forsaken? Were they not saved? Were they not delivered? This is Romans fifteen and four. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope lord willing this was edifying Shalom.